Completely redesigned for 2025, the new Kicks boasts a larger size, fresh styling both inside and out, and houses a more potent four-cylinder engine, now available with all-wheel drive. The suspension has been upgraded to offer 8.4 inches of ground clearance, an increase from the previous model's 7.0 inches, making navigating minor off-road adventures a breeze. Additionally, Nissan's zero-gravity seats, previously exclusive to the front, are now standard in both front and rear, while the top SR trim introduces Pro Pilot Lane Keeping Assist, a feature unprecedented in any previous Kicks model. The anticipated starting price for the 2025 Nissan Kicks is approximately $23,000, with potential variations up to $26,000 based on selected trim levels and optional features. Once criticized for its underpowered 1.6-liter four-cylinder engine, Nissan is revamping the 2025 Kicks with a 2.0-liter unit boasting 141 horsepower and 140 lb-ft of torque. This significant increase of 20 GP and 26 lb-ft aims to address previous criticisms head-on. Power is transmitted through a CVT, continuously variable automatic transmission, to the front wheels or, for the first time in a kicks, to all four wheels with the optional AWD. Models equipped with AWD also feature an additional snow drive mode alongside the standard normal, eco, and sport modes. Stay tuned for our comprehensive test drive of the 2025 Kicks, where we'll provide detailed driving impressions and instrumented test results. The interior of the 2025 Nissan Kicks receives a modern overhaul, featuring horizontal flat display screens angled slightly towards the driver to enhance visibility. A flat bottom steering wheel, adorned with stitching matching the dashboard, adds a touch of sophistication. Rear passengers enjoy an upgrade in comfort with the inclusion of Nissan's renowned zero-gravity seats. On the SR trim, climate control functions are now managed via a haptic touch panel, replacing the traditional dual-dial setup found in previous generation kicks. However, dials remain standard on lower trims. While cargo space sees an increase overall, opting for AWD slightly reduces trunk space due to additional drive hardware. Specifically, front-wheel drive models offer 29 cubic feet behind the second row, whereas all-wheel drive models provide 24 cubic feet. Folding the rear seats expands cargo capacity to 59 cubic feet for front-wheel drive and 50 cubic feet for all-wheel drive. Stay tuned for our carry-on suitcase fitment test on both models, as we'll update this story with the results once conducted. Dear viewers, we ask you to subscribe to our channel, like the videos, and give feedback so that these types of videos are broadcasted on our channel more often. Thank you for your support to our channel.